All right, so we've been baling today, round baling. Uh, if you watched the other video um, about that grease fitting, uh, yeah, so I put the grease fitting in and it just seems to uh, poop out that little hole there. And let's see if we can zoom in without me crawling in. Yeah, the, the light's right there on the uh, on the thing. But I put the fitting in, but that bearing is shot. I mean, shot. Uh, it hasn't failed. I mean, it's failed, obviously. Uh, well, you're probably not going to be able to see that with the. Uh, there, maybe, maybe you will there. Oh yeah. So it was actually smoking smoking i mean it got hot before and i knew i needed to get a grease fitting in but i think having the grease in it uh is actually making what was smoking uh that's really bad on a round baler obviously i don't want my hay to burn cause a freaking wildfire uh so we're getting ready to go up to the big field uh for the back anyways it's bigger than what i just did we, we yielded 14 round bales off of the top field but other than that, the baler's doing good. It only takes me like 15, 20 seconds to start a bale. Uh, I did bring my camera mount. I don't know how good it's going to be on a tractor. It's like a little tripod deal with bendy legs. Uh, but I'll try to get some footage of actually uh, actually running the round baler. And if nothing else, maybe I'll have my wife take a video of me running it. Yeah, this field back here is a high producer. I don't know if I said in the video of cutting and raking and stuff like that, but... Uh, it always produces this mass of hay. And uh, I tell you another thing is when I'm cutting it, it smells salty. And I don't know if maybe somebody knows what that means, whether it's good, is it bad? I have no idea, but uh, yeah, it's always seemed to uh, smell salty when you cut back here. So I'm running about 540 PTO. And, just kind of taking it easy. So, uh, let me get some more work done and I'll get back with you. Just keep an eye on that one turn because I just don't want to start a fire. So, well, I got a bearing getting hot. My steering decided it was time to uh, leak everywhere. It was fine for a couple hours. Now it's, it's dripping for fast. But it is what it is. This hay looks so fantastic. Uh, just beautiful. Uh, probably some of the best round bales I've ever made as far as the color. But we don't have too much left. Uh, here in a moment, I'm going to do one where I start a bale, uh, start to finish, and I'll try to, try to record it. All right, I got my RPM set. Got a full windrow ahead of me. And I'm getting ready to eject the bale. Clunked into gear pretty good anyway. Pull away from the bale. Shut your lid. Up is down, down is up for the hook the hose up backwards. That'd be alright. Just gotta remember it. Now the belts won't start turning until there's enough hay in there to get them tight. And I have it set like that, uh, basically to make it easier to start a bale. There we go. Yeah, once them belts start turning, you can just go with it. Hopefully you can see that pretty good. I'm kind of holding the phone over my shoulder. But she pretty well eats it. I don't like is the hay gets caught on my hitch pin and uh, 
every now and then it'll come off in just big globs. I want to should use a shorter hitch pin, but it's the one we have. Let's see, we should get a bail out of this windrow. Oh yeah, now watch that indicator. See how there's a hole there? When that hole is there, that's telling you that your bail's full. So then you, uh, you grab your string, pull on it, that thing will swing down. Then you gotta pick up just a little bit more hay for it to take the string into the baler. Now it's taking the string out. I do one Mississippi 2, Mississippi 3, Mississippi 4, Mississippi 5. One Mississippi 2, Mississippi 3, Mississippi 4, Mississippi 5. I'll spare you the rest of this count in my head. And then... Turn your PTO off. And your son's supposed to run up here somewhere. There he comes with this goofy thing on his head. And that's it. All right, well, we're done finally. Uh, it's about 7.30. Uh, this is the first fill we did today. I think we got 14 out of it. About to hit one. Maybe uh, the camera will show you the color in those bales. I don't know, it looks brown on here, but I'm really satisfied with it. That's some of the greenest hay I've ever made. Uh, and it's still first cutting, and it's July, you know? I mean, you would think that, uh, you would think that it would all be down and brown by now, but nope. Yeah, the strings, we're gonna have to uh, practice on wrapping strings. Uh, and I'm definitely gonna fire the raker I keep trying to tell my wife she's going to have to take his place, but she doesn't find that funny. <laughs> We're going to go over to the other field and we'll show you that. Alright, so this is the back. We're going to drive around, but for some reason there is just a giant hole in the ground. I have no idea why. I don't know if it's natural or dug, but just a big old hole in the ground that I'm always freaked out that I'm going to, you know, run off the edge and, and go into when I'm doing hay. But uh, I had to dump that one in the edge. It was one of the first ones we made. Uh, but yeah, it has just a, been a beautiful day for making hay. Uh, I think there was, I think my wife and son said 23 for back here. Uh, my daughter wasn't counting, she was asleep in the back seat. But uh, they got to ride around in the air conditioning, listen to music, and only have to step out to slice a string every now and then. Uh, all in all, it's, it says 7.34 now. Uh, I think we got here at like 2. So for 40 bales, something like that. Uh, yeah, 4 or 5 hours worth of work's not too bad. So. Anyways, if you watched to the end, I appreciate it. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to see more, you can subscribe. And I'd appreciate it. And to everybody who watched to the end, I definitely appreciate it. I'd like to say thank you to my 23 faithful subscribers. Thanks, guys.